Oh. You either. Oh no, hang on. Let me try that. Hey, no, that's wrong. Let me try that again now. Hang on. Now we got a right. Quick spin in around town just to test out these front brake pads. So as all you know I do my own few bits I can with the bike. Kind of doing up the bike paycheck to paycheck kind of thing. Don't have a lot of money to be thrown around at it. And uh, I had to rebuild my front calipers. Actually not a hard thing to do to be fair. Um, buy the kit. I decided to go with stainless steel pistons while I was at it. A couple of seals and uh, job done. I kind of, um, while I had them out, I went for stainless steel bolts and I sprayed them as well. So, sprayed them red just like the bar ends there. Yeah, it actually came out pretty well. But, I went with brand new EBC HH pads said I treat the old girl you know put the pads in the whole lot fucking brake fluid fluid got on the fucking pads so brake fluid got on the pads and they got contaminated go on bud that's the job okay don't have to tell me twice get some fuel you know? that leg bag lads it looks like something I'd store my fucking tampons in but it's so fucking handy did a lovely job went for stainless steel everything everything looking better than new I'm gone and um, fuck it anyway the pads got contaminated I was gutted and I wouldn't mind but it's twin disc in the front so that's two sets of pads <sighs> so of course I hit YouTube now total disclaimer I'm not a professional I don't even know if I'm an amateur but I'm just telling you a story for educational purposes let's call it that so um, I looked up YouTube and I thought it has to be somewhere trying to save these pads and I looked up the oven method it's where you cook them like a pizza I said fuck it you know what I'll give it a shot what have I got to lose you know so I took out the pads, gave my light sand, hit them with a bit of brake cleaner first and gave them as good a clean as possible, let the brake cleaner soak into them. Jesus, you're in a rush aren't you? And uh, gave them a light sand, put them in the oven, 200 for 20 minutes. Well lads, when I tell you, the missus came home thankfully she's into bikes and she's pretty cool like that but my god the place the smell oh jesus oh my god i knew i was in trouble halfway through it i could see the kitchen kind of filling up a little bit with smoke i said oh i'm in fucking trouble here it reminds me of the time it was my job put away the christmas tree and i kind of just wrapped it in cling film left all the decorations on it and stuffed it in the box and i was like oh, i'm gonna get in so much trouble for this but you know what that's next year David's problem. Next year David got a fucking slap across the side of the head when Nicky went to open the Christmas tree. So it was a bit like that. I said fuck it, you know what, I'm going to keep going now anyway because I've already started and I'm not buying new brake pads so that was it. So I cooked them up, took them out, gave them another sand and I um, have to say I was kind of hopeful that it was going to pan out for me. 
So I put them back on, made sure to clear out all the brake cleaner, all the excess brake fluid, the whole lot. But another thing I was careful to do is I wiped down the brake disc. I nearly forgot. I just had, I actually had the pads in and I just thought, sure, the brake disc has to have a bit of contamination on it as well. And I hit that with brake cleaner and tissue and the amount of contaminant, I suppose, is all you can call it, like just slippery black stuff that came off the, the disc was carnage. So it was a good idea to remember. But um, it worked, and I like. I'm going to get an awful lot of comments. Oh, you're going to get in an accident, and and you shouldn't be telling people this and whatever. Look at I understand that. I can take all that criticism. I'm just telling you what I did. You know, I'm just a biker. I don't have a car. I daily drive. I do the bike paycheck to paycheck. I can't. I, I can't afford to have the bike off the road for a long time, and I can't afford to just horse it into a garage and have them do everything for me. So I have to come up with these ways of, of fixing things. But one thing someone was saying to be careful of is if the contamination is deep down, it can, when a certain amount of the pad wears away, you can hit a contaminated part of the pad again. So you you have to be careful, you know. Yeah, everybody has to do what, what they feel comfortable doing. Me, I feel comfortable saving money. I don't feel comfortable getting hurt, so it's, uh, you know, it's whatever it is. But, um, I, that's, I have clocked up a couple of thousand K since then. Hey buddy, how are you? And everything's fine. Touch wood. So that's what I did. Degreased everything, cleaned everything, hit it with brake cleaner. Let the brake cleaner soak into the pad, give it a light sand, put it in the oven at 220 minutes on a baking tray. Whip them out, let them cool, give them another light sand, clean down the brake disc, put them back in, and there you go. Now, if, if, to be honest, if money wasn't an issue, I'd have just bought a new set of pads. Don't mind me, I'm actually doing nothing here. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, that's the job thanking you. Is the story with filtering in Ireland? Can you? I think you can filter. Like, is this legal now? It's cheeky as fuck, but is it legal? That's the question. Let me know. Someone has to comment and let me know because I actually don't know. I was Googling it and I didn't come up with any definitive answer, to be fair. Oh! Be clear, we're all good in the cave.
month.